creating clients, right? Because they are created. You don't get them and you don't attract them, you create them. You craft a powerful story about who you are and what you do from who you are and what you do. It's not something you make up. You bring your story with you, you live into your story. And then you connect to people. Really put your attention on them. Then you invite them to have an experience with you. And then you do your magic, you create. And then there comes a moment where you propose. And yeah, I, we, we need to reframe this, right? Because uh, a proposal feels edgy. I'm taking, thinking back to the moment when I proposed to my wife, right? That's a challenging moment when you make a proposal to somebody. So we need to make it a bit lighter than that. A proposal, it's a bit like when you go into a restaurant. You say, hey, I, I, I'm hungry. And the waiter gets out the menu and shows you the menu. And there's some items on it that don't cost very much. And some items that cost a bit more. And sometimes there are items that cost a lot. There's a restaurant I go to in Hawaii sometimes. It's just a little restaurant on the beach. They have a $1,000 hamburger. Now, it comes with a bottle of champagne, but it's still a lot of money for a burger. And I asked the guys once, I said, does anyone ever eat this? And, and they said, you know what? About three times in the last 10 years. So you put out there what you're offering. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes it's someone who wants the special magic that you have. A proposal is that moment at the end of a powerful coaching session when they say to you, wow, this was powerful. What would it look like if we worked together? And you respond. Or at the end of a coaching experience when you say to them, I see the impact this is having on you. And, and I see that your world is shifting a little bit. Would you like to have a conversation about what it might look like if you and I were to do this together week after week after week? And then when they say yes, sometimes in that same conversation, sometimes it's another entire conversation on its own to make the proposal. But there's a moment when you literally need to look into their eyes and say, this is what it would look like to work with, with, with me. If you haven't done this before, it's not only edgy, you, you're going to get your words mixed up and you're going to trip over your tongue the first time you say it out loud. It's something you want to practice. How much do you charge for coaching? Can you say it out loud right now? How much do you want to charge? Can you say that out loud? And could you say it out loud if I was a potential client and you had to look me in the eyes and say those words to me right now? It's something that's worth practicing. When I first started coaching, I had an insight that I only wanted a handful of clients. I only wanted five one-on-one -on -one clients. And at the time, I wanted five $20,000 a year clients. I spent 11 months saying that out loud. People would have an experience of me and say, I want, I want more of this, Rich. How do I work with you? And I'd say, well, it costs $20,000 a year to work with me. And for 11 months, I'd have to get creative because nobody said yes. And sometimes I'd say, well, what if we created a smaller program for you? What if we did something differently? What if we took out this element and that element and we crafted something precisely for you? But after 11 months of practicing saying this, it rolled off my tongue. It was like my phone number. I didn't have to think about it. It's just who I was and what I did. $20,000 to work with me for a year. I said that to one woman and she looked me in the eyes and said, oh, great. How do I pay you? And on the inside, my head was saying, holy shit, what do I do now? And I had the presence of mind to stay calm and just look her in the eyes and say, you write me a check. And she did. What I want to do with you around making proposals is to help reframe rejection. How shall I put it? I, I, I like to play a game for myself that if they say no, it means I haven't served them powerfully enough. Now, is that true? Not always. Sometimes I've served them so powerfully, I've actually shown them that if they started working with me, there'd be no excuses, that they'd, they'd have to actually create what they want to create. And not everyone's ready for that. And they'll back off and they'll move away and they'll say no. And sometimes, I'm throwing a little bit because our, 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 our doggies come and say hi. Um, so, When, ha, let me pause for a second. 
oh, and I'm catching myself as I pause. I got in my head, so I couldn't stay connected. And I was trying to, and it wasn't quite coming. And one of the most powerful elements of fearless coaching is your willingness to pause. Your willingness to get vulnerable and say, hey, I'm not sure where we're going right now. Your willingness to slow down. Your willingness to feel uncomfortable. Because the moment I did, I dropped back in again. And I haven't got a clue what I was saying a few seconds ago, but it doesn't matter. I'm back and I'm connected. So proposals. Let's reframe rejection, right? Let's have it be that you get that you're playing a game right now. You've got a lot of proposals to make. You might have to make 11 months of them like I did before you get your first yes. Are you willing to do that? If you're not, this might not be the right game for you. This is a long-term game. If you want to be a professional coach, are you in it for the long haul? So the challenge I leave you with is practice saying your number. Say it in the mirror. Say it to your friends. Say it to your partner again and again and again. And practice this week when you've given a powerful coaching session, either when they say what would it look like to work with you, or you can pause and say, hey, would you like to find out what it would be like if we did this year, week after week after week, and, and went and dived even deeper? That you say, okay, there are two ways to work with me. You can work with me for three months, you can work with me for six months, and you practice that way of saying it, and then you say your number. Practice saying that number. It's the edgiest thing at the beginning, but just like a $1,000 hamburger. There are going to be some people who say yes. Connect, invite, create, propose. These are at the heart of creating clients, at the heart of being a prosperous coach.